afternoon YouTube and welcome back to the channel and in today something very different indeed Dan's caddy van and not any caddy van a caddy van powered by a 3.2 litre v6 petrol So we'll start with the party piece on this van. Obviously it never came as standard with a V6 3.2 litre engine. Now speaking to Dan off camera, he's advised that the whole car was transplanted from an Audi A3. So Dan, welcome to the channel. Thanks Hello. for bringing along the car, really a van even I should yeah. say. Really appreciate getting something like this on the channel that's truly unique. So do you want to give us a run through on the changeover obviously from the Audi A3 because you bought the A3 yep. and you used it for a little while as well yep. is that correct? Yeah so I, originally I was looking for just the engine on its own um, but what my concerns were in the past and like previous experience on buying engines and then fitting them like from eBay etc um, end up fitting them into the vehicle and then finding out that there's actually engine issues down the line. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to get the whole uh, the whole car so I knew that I'd have bits of wiring that we could use and potentially the hubs for the brakes, et cetera, which we'd get onto. Um, and th for me to actually buy the whole vehicle in one go and actually drive it for a month, um, it would give me confidence that in that time period, doing say a thousand miles, I was then happy to then proceed with the conversion. And a conversion it is. Now, I've asked Dan to keep it steady for the first drive that I've been out in it because I want to film the first reaction to this because I mean, it's not a standard V6 either, is it, Dan? Let's be honest. What no, have we got not. blowing it's, into this engine at the so, moment? So, yeah, being, being me and, 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 and enjoying a bit of power, um, we decided to supercharge it. So we've got a, a Rotrex um, C3890. Um, it's actually been rebuilt as well. Uh, so it's running a T2 compressor. Um, it's about 10 PSI boost with an upgraded fuel system. Um, however, in these kind of hot days, um, it does tend to pull a bit of timing back to preserve the engine life. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice setup. And what sort of power are we on a good day? So we've got a nice so, cool day. So it, you know, it, it, it could be anywhere between sort of 360 and 400 horsepower. On a nice cold day, it might even exceed the 400 mark, you know, so <laughs> it's, it's okay. In a van, that is absolutely mental. And for those that follow the channel, obviously I've got the E46 and the E92. But the weight difference, I mean, did you say it was about 1,200 kilos? No, 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 it's actually about 1,400. Oh, 1,400 yeah, kilos. Yeah, so yeah. we're still probably 150 kilos lighter than the E46 M3, but with another 60, <laughs> 70 horsepower from a van. Awesome. you guys are going to be itching to actually see what this thing is like out on the road but before we do that obviously we've got to go over the finished item here so Dan has just told me off camera which I was really surprised at these are actually the standard bumpers so he's had them color coded obviously in this beautiful wrap and gone with the gloss black grille and the lower trims as well and you can just see the intercooler there tucking away wheels what have we got on here Dan on wheels yeah, there's, I mean, some, there's some uh, Koenig wheels um, they're a German brand um, yeah, they're super light, 18s, 245 tires all round. Um, and yeah. how's traction on that? 
in the dry it, and the wet. <laughs> you know, in, in the wet it can be a, a bit poor, up to sort of 60, 70, but in the dry, it's okay. It's okay, it's reasonable. Yeah. Still a front wheel drive setup, isn't and, and it? it? And it's actually not got um, a limited slip diff either. Oh, it's still open diff. It's still an open diff, so it does pretty well considering, but that's one thing that will come in, in time. And is, yeah, I was going to say, so we've got the A3 brakes on there as well, because you said you transplanted Yeah, so, so it's everything. actually, which is the R32 brakes, it's exactly the same front and rear. Um, and it's on KW V3 suspension as well. So this van not only looks the part, sounds the part, goes like the part, it will also handle the part as well. Just mental. And also you've got the custom exhaust on there. Yeah, there's a custom three inch uh, center exit. We had to actually cut the chassis and re, re strengthen oh, wow. the uh, uh, re, re strengthen the back. Um, yeah, it's something a bit weird and a bit wild I wanted to do. Um, you know, that my fabricator, um, SAS, he did say to me, do I really want to do it? Um, it's a lot of work. I said, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's truly unique. And of like course. we said earlier, when you come up behind it, you see the 3.2 badge and you think, really, mate, it's a van. And then you actually <laughs> see the exhaust and the noise this thing makes. Absolutely mental. So inside the cabin also, not a standard van in here, is it, Dan? So we've got no. GTI seats. Do you want to tell us a bit about why you went with these seats, Dan? Obviously yeah, so, so at first I actually put the A3 seats in from, from the actual vehicle that I had, um, but I found it was giving me a bit of lower back pain, old age, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, so I wanted something a little bit, you know, a bit more comfortable. Uh, a friend was selling these. Um, I went and sat in them and I was 100% one over. They're so much more comfortable. They're actually lighter as well. Um, even though they look a bit thicker, they are really light seats. And they're comfy as well, aren't we? Just really been comfortable. Really it's, comfortable. It's my daily works van, so uh, you know, I need to be comfortable. And um, anyone needs any electrical work doing, I will yeah. link Dan's Instagram at the end. And he's also got the, is it like an Android head unit in there? Yeah, it? so um, yeah, it's, 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 it's not an Android, yeah, it's, it's, it's basically right. like an Android head unit, yes. It's, it's got all the, the, you know, the Bluetooth yep. and all the gimmicks. Um, it's got an amp behind there as well to power some upgraded vibe speakers. Um, yeah, and, and you know, he's got the Mark 7 GTI genuine yeah. stick that needs nice to be modified. Nice place to be, isn't it? Like you say, really yeah. nice place to be, especially for daily use. And it's, it's, done just, a... <laughs> it's just comfortable. It's a, nice, it's a nice GT cruiser when you don't want to be a bit silly. It's, yeah. It's, it's nice. Well, as I say, we'll go on to some of Dan's other stuff when we're out on the road. I would probably say this is his most tame vehicle of them all, which <laughs> is pretty yeah. mental to say. But yeah, I suppose uh, it's time to get this show on the road. <laughs> As you can probably hear, <laughs> it doesn't sound anything like a van at all. So we're just going to get out to a nice bit of national road. Hopefully you can hear us okay. We are in a non-air conditioned van and it's surprisingly for the UK it has warmed up today. So let's see what it's all about. And it is a, such a nice sounding motor. Like, it just feels it's like just it's just happy just to it's just, come along. Yeah, isn't it? it's just nice and smooth and that is still got good lock as well. Yeah, yeah it's, man, it's super usable. <laughs> mate, that is mental, isn't it? That is properly mental. Lively with a diff as well, and without, yeah, yeah. without a diff in. What a sound for a van. <laughs> Oh, look at that sinkhole. Yeah, you got to be a bit careful. <gasps> Mate, that is mental. Yeah, I know. It's like a little fiery thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> And it still wants to rev, which is really nice. It's very, very keen. When it's supercharged, sorry, when it's natural aspirated, it's not as keen. Yeah. It just, it's a bit more of like a square power band. Just amplifies. This everything. now, it gives it a lot of up at the top. 
Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it, it's more. It's a lot more keen to hit the, the, the higher RPM. You can feel it. It wants to scream all the way through. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's not the best of roads here. Sound, that? that sounds mental. The exhaust is really nice because it's not droney at all. No, it's not droney. It's just as soon as you get on it, it is so yeah, loud. Yeah, yeah. Like when you want it to be noisy, it's more in it. It's yeah, well, it's it's because it's, it's well, I mean we're talking quietly, like yeah. you know, calmly, like that is A nice surge, isn't it? Yeah, sort of the yeah, way it's like sort of a, just, it's a just real, keen. A real progressive. Yeah, that's it, exactly that. And it's like, it, it still feels, with supercharged, it's very naturally aspirated, like, because it revs, it's responsive. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, the way that just wants to dance about, what? <laughs> Mate, if you are ever late for a job, I will fucking question that. Jesus. <laughs> what a kid! Like, so put it in perspective, I would say this this is quicker than the E46 M3 for being in the bum dyno. What stuff have you played with that you would say is an equivalent pace to this on the road? Just to give, because it's always difficult, like I find with these videos, to show the true speed of it. So do you know what it is? It's a hard question because I've not properly tested it now with the new built supercharger because yep. obviously we're running the T2 compressor wheel now. Right. So it is running about two or three PSI more than it was. Oh, okay. So on the older setup, how can I put it in perspective? Um, I guess it was it, it was quite close to a stage one uh, uh, Cupra. To, oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, enough go go in one of those. Yeah. yeah. So what they uh, 350, 360 yeah. horsepower, and it feels like I wouldn't I wouldn't be doubting that. Yeah. At all. And dual clutch as well. So yeah. Where's your manual on this? This yeah. is a manual as well. So. <laughs> He's fucking off the camera, man. That is fucking <laughs> wild. <laughs> But yeah. what, what I like now is just the noise, just even the cruising sound of this motor and that exhaust. It's just, you would just enjoy driving this normally. And, 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 just I, and, as I, much and as I do, you, yeah, mate. As you I, like, I really do. Like, that's, that's the part of the charm of this vehicle. It makes you want to rev. Yeah. But man. honestly, without the supercharger, it wasn't like that. It was it was more like a um, a slightly larger displacement, lower RPM kind of vehicle. Yeah. So, you know, it does rev more now anyway. We've got a higher RPM band than we did. So five, what is it? RPM. Oh, okay. So what's it standard? It's six and six a half. Six and a half. Yeah. yeah. So now it does about seven one. And um, you can feel it. You can, you can, fit, you can feel it. Like if you know, if you drop some cams in it and stuff, they become really lively. Yeah, this is quite a basic setup in terms of what we can really add to it. You know, so, stock compression as well. Yeah, standard engine for an NA. Standard at the moment. compression as well, which you yeah. can obviously with, with these. When you want to go for a bit more power, you just can put a, pen and, um, um, a head space on. Yeah, to lift to, it, to lift yeah, lower the compression. There you go, yeah. exactly that. And then you can run even more boost. <laughs> so we're we're really on the limit of the standard engine. Really, of, of yeah. safe safe limits. Yeah, exactly that. So if you put the thin, the thicker head gasket in, lower the compression, and would you run the same charger or a different pulley size on this charger? Different pulley size. And then what sort of power can you go to on, say, stock rods, stock pistons? Um, really like 450. Yeah, so yeah. it's not, it's a and lot of money probably to probably want to run meth as well, really, to keep cool. things. Yeah, really. It's, and it is quite a lot of money, uh, considering I just don't feel like I need more nah. power in this. That's like, if, if I needed, you know, if I needed to rebuild the engine for whatever reason, then obviously we can, we can venture yeah. that route then um, but it's a lot of money to go from 380 400 to 450 because all of a sudden you see what I mean yeah, yeah. and also not, look I mean it's already a bit of a bit of a nutcase it needs the diff more than it needs the yeah, power yeah you, <laughs> you see what I mean so yeah. now like chassis is up for it um, you know the power is really good uh, tyres are the good tyres it. yeah, yeah it's PS4s PS5s yeah. at the rear it just needs the diff to, to lock it all Bring into, it into place yeah which 
I know that, but it is a works van. Yeah, that's why this isn't this. my toy. Yeah, this is his, like I was saying, one of his slowest cars in the yeah, collection. Yeah. So we'll touch on that briefly. <laughs> if you want to see more from Dan's collection, let us know in the comments. So he's in the process of building a 750 horsepower naturally aspirated TBR, but that I do not. I'm, I'm nervous the thought of being in that car. And then you've got the M2 track yeah, car. Yeah, which is so, you know hybrid turbo and stuff, roll big, cage, and you know the Recaro's in the there. The Recaro's, so which is a nice spec car. DCT um, as well, isn't it? It's not a manual. Is it? It's DCT. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've got a mixture. But I've got two manuals and two dual clutch. I've got a DCT DSG yeah, and two manual. two manuals. What? Which is a, just a nice because I like everything. I'm not one of these die-hard fans. <laughs> to the brand has to be manual, has to be yeah. a brand. You know, it has to be this. I like motors. Yeah, no, that's you why can... you know all, all cars. I like them all for different reasons. Well, and obviously, well, some are preferable. We'll uh, we'll put the link to Dan's Instagram in the description as well. So if you want to have a look at, you can see the van in standard form on there as well. You've got uh, it, yeah, yeah. yeah I've it? got I've got all, I've got all my builds on there at every step of the way. Yeah. TBR is a bit slow pro progress at the moment on Instagram, but it's getting there. We're finally putting the pieces together but that'll suddenly shoot big shoot build isn't it it's big a big build. big build that's a big build 750 horsepower natural, natural aspirate. Aspirate, just yeah. in time for winter so <laughs> perfect timing yeah really so i'm going to get it built get it ready and then put it in the garage <laughs> yeah, I do not, and not man. and not use it ever again oh man what a build but honestly dan like thanks for letting me go out in it today just <laughs> no, bonkers, absolutely bonkers fine, honestly. And like I say, if you see a green electrician flying around by you, <laughs> don't play with this van. Honestly, it is, yeah, it is something else. Very nicely done. <laughs> you all enjoyed the video today if you did make sure you consider liking and subscribing to the channel for those like I say who watch the video all the way through Dan's got some pretty exciting stuff that we hope to be featuring later in the year